Hey guys, in this Effect House tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a frame filter for your TikTok. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create this simple frame filter here in Effect House. Before we start creating the filter here, we have to make sure that we create our frame we want to use in this filter. I have created the frame here in Sketch, but of course you can use any other program you feel comfortable in creating frames. For example, Photoshop, Canva, Figma or any other app. Yeah, you are able to create some PNG graphics. It is important that the frame has a yeah, transparent background, otherwise you won't see yeah, the actual picture. I will also provide you um, this frame as an example to follow along the tutorial if you don't have a design yet, so just go to the description and yeah, download the example frame. So, after you have created the frame, just export it as a PNG graphic, this has um, an yeah, uh, aspect ratio of 9 to 16. This is also the aspect ratio and um, yeah, I will recommend to do this. Here there is also another frame, a smaller one. So I will also show you the difference between the two sizes. So yeah, let's go. The first thing is of course that we need to import our PNG graphic here into the Effect House Studio. So for this we go to our Assets panel and click here on Import. And then we just search for our frame, dot PNG graphic, and then we just click on open. So when the graphic is imported, um, I always click here on the asset on my frame. Then I go to the right hand side and here I set the compression type from automatic to none. So it is the best possible quality. So the next step is that we go to our scene panel. Then we click on the plus for add object and here we search for 2D and here in the 2D section we can find this screen image object. Just click on it and then it will be inserted into your effect house project. So yeah, now there is a placeholder in front of me. So let's change this. So here we can find the 2D foreground effects and here we just click on the screen image we have just inserted. Then we go to the right hand side and here we can find texture. Here we click on default texture and then here we select our frame we have just imported and then hit OK. And after we have done this, the frame should be visible here in our project. And at the moment it fills the screen because we have yeah, selected a aspect ratio of 9 to 60 when creating the frame here. But um, of course, make sure that the, uh, that TikTok has um, yeah some safe zones. So maybe not all of this frame will be visible on all different kind of devices because when watching a TikTok video, TikTok sometimes zooms into the video and cuts off the left and right edge of the video. So yeah, just keep this in mind. Um, yeah, that was all about how to create a simple frame filter, but now I will also show you what will happen when you don't um, yeah, insert a 9 to 60, um, 16 frame aspect ratio here. So I will again go to my assets panel and import here the second frame from computer, here my frame 2. And then I will just change my um, image of my um, screen image to the frame 2 and now we will see that yeah this is in the middle and yeah we don't get cut off and it looks pretty nice to me this is because the stretch mode here is set to fit when we change this now for example to fit width it's not changing because um, Effectos tries to keep yeah, the width here in the screen but when I set the stretch mode now to fit height it yeah make sure that the height is filled and yeah, cuts off the left and the right side here of this um, yeah, frame. And yeah, you can just try around here and for example stretch, then it makes sure that the whole screen is filled, but the image gets stretched. And yeah, fill is the same, then the whole picture gets, gets bigger and it gets not stretched, but also it gets cut off on the left and the right side and fill and cut is more or less the same, but it cuts the picture, but it makes no difference because it isn't in the screen 
Um, yes, so I will recommend you to set this to fit. So yeah, I will change it back to the num to the actual frame I was yeah I created. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you now can create your own frame filter here in Effect House. Yeah, if this tutorial was helpful, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, it would be nice if you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.